Hello, welcome to this um, design and technology lesson. This lesson is about rendering textures. For this lesson it would be useful if we'd looked at the a previous clip I made on drawing isometric cubes because this will help you with the, draw, the basic drawing of the isometric cubes. So what we're going to do, we're going to use either a pencil or a fine liner. You might also need a rubber and a ruler for this and what we're going to do is try and draw four isometric cubes and then render them, use texture using a pencil or a fine liner to make them resemble a material of our choice. So the three materials I've chosen here are concrete, wood, glass and metal. So we're going to start off by putting a title on our sheet and I've done that already so we've got a sheet here and it's been titled up the next thing we need to do is we need to draw a couple of lines you can use a ruler for this and to work out our spacing for our cubes so if we just draw approximately where we want our cubes to be. Um, I've drawn these about 8 and probably 8 and 16 would be good. I'll move that one down a bit. So if you want to be exact 8 and 16. But what we're trying to do is we're just picking four points that we're going to start by drawing our cube. And if you remember from the last clip what we did to draw our cube is we draw a vertical line then two lines at remember 30 degrees then we use the ruler here to go parallel and there's our first cube you could practice this on another sheet but with a bit of practice you can see that we get the 30 degree line remembering that when we draw these shapes this line and this line are parallel all the other lines should be vertical so and if, if you draw these lightly now we can use the same line projected down from here to ensure that we get these cubes you might want to just clean up as you go and just the last time so we draw our line down here you can draw it with a ruler this line at 30 degrees, this line at 30 degrees. If you remember from the last clip, I also use this trick, which is to use the ruler in a parallel motion to get our things and use this here. Now, when we've drawn our four cubes, what we need to do is to start with the rendering techniques. So if we start with the glass, and the glass has sharp corners, pointed corners, you can also with the glass see part of the, um, the cube because it is translucent or transparent. So you can actually see, this is the only time you'd be able to see the back corner of the cube. So for the glass cube, before we start, we can add in that back corner gets a little confusing and then we can use now I'm going to use a fine liner now you could use a pencil if you've got a good sharp pencil is nice and I'm going to add my lines in here keep the corners quite nice and sharp then these lines would you just be broken lines that's gone a bit astray there and then this side in glass even though it's translucent would perhaps have a little bit more um, shadow or reflection and then just a, a slight reflective effect on the glass and if we clear this up so there's our, our glass 
The next one is the concrete. Now I'm just going to do a kind of corner of the concrete. The concrete, we're looking at a rougher texture and perhaps a kind of rounded edge. You might add just a little break out of that. And for the, these corners you can bring this round. This might not, this edge here might be slightly broken. There's part of that. And then the concrete is just creating a texture of perhaps smaller pebbles, bigger pebbles. Broken off there. And then just some flecks and, and dots and small grouped up parts here. And that gives us our concrete texture. So we can also add titles to there. Um, with the titles as well, if you draw a couple of lines like we did for the other titles, so that when we add the titles, there. Okay, so metal. We're looking at metal. Probably a sharper edge. Now the metal would have some shading, it's not going to let any light through here, so we could really go to town on the shading on this side. It could really be, if you remember, perhaps shading just 3D shapes without any texture, we can add lines at the back here. We could use, it would be perhaps some shading on here, and as I say, possibly we could add more shading here, we could add cross hatching or use various techniques to get our, our metal finish. So there's our metal. And last of all, which is probably the most intricate, is the wood block. So now wood, <coughs> excuse me, is um, we've got, if we take a look at the wood here, so we can see it's, I've gone for quite an irregular wood, but the wood grain is a set of lines which are parallel, probably not touching. The top wood, we have more of the uh, round grain of the tree that, that would be cut through. So the, the grain on the top surface is different to the grain on the sides. The grain on the sides runs down. And then we could add knots and cuts and splits into the wood as well. So, like the concrete, I won't do all of that, but I'll start. So. Again, slightly irregular, maybe rounded off corners, up like this. So we could add splits or strakes in the timber and now where we've got strike here, this might go down and have a shadow there. Then for our wood grain, just these parallel lines that are close together, don't touch. They could go from top and bottom, they might not. In between, you can add slight flex. And then if that's we add a knot here and then our wood grain is going to come down and go round try not to keep it perfectly regular because wood grains not tends to be not regular but just put these parallel lines that don't touch get add a little split in there and perhaps a few marks with the top surface we've got this curved effect here and then the rays moving out here. So 
there we've got basically the techniques for adding the rendering textures to those four blocks. So what I would like you to do is I would like you to complete the title, draw as I did the four blocks, draw the four blocks here and then I would like you to once you've drawn these four blocks using a fine liner or using a pencil and that is completed. You could, although we're looking really at, 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 at pencil textures, if you look at these two here as a kind of extra, if you wanted to as an extension task, you could use, I've just used a blue and green pencil there and a pencil to add some colour and texture to those to then give them, actually make them look more like the texture that we're looking for. So that is rendering textures on isometric blocks. Thanks for watching.